My name is Dr. Randy Hine. Amy and I are going to be talking about the difficulty that enuresis causes for parents. So Randy, as, as difficult as bed wetting or daytime wetting is for a child, it can also be very difficult for a parent. Very. Very difficult. Because you think about a parent and they're so excited, you know, they have this little child and they're growing and, you know, they're looking at developmental milestones, when they crawl, when they talk, when they potty train. 16? Come on! You know? I mean, it's hard. It's hard. Because we try so hard. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's the most important thing in our lives. And you feel like you're failing. We really do. As a parent. Yeah. It, it is. It, it's, it's also shameful for a parent. And they feel guilty. Like, what am I not getting? What am I doing wrong? Especially if it's a first child. Yes, they've got nothing to compare it against yeah. apart from other people's children who, of course, are potty trained almost immediately. Think about the expense. Yeah. Having to wash the sheets every day. Destroyed mattresses. Oh, man. I will get a parent into my office and if they have a child who's four years old and they're not potty trained, oh, they're going crazy. It's like, oh, you know, I really don't mind, but ugh, they really well, do. And you also, you also fluctuate between feeling sorry for the child at one minute and feeling angry that you just can't get this, get them to understand that they need to go when they need to go. And, yeah. you know, so, so you're having these conflicting emotions as a parent. Yeah. As and well. women are funny because women talk about anything and everything. And they'll often say, uh, how old was your child when they right. were potty trained? And, you know, and they'll say, oh, mine was easy. In fact, he potty trained himself. Well, thank you very much. Yeah. You know, it just makes you just feel makes more inadequate. I know. Oh, your, your child isn't potty trained yet? Hmm, what have you tried? You know, and, and it's like they blame the parent. Yeah, and you feel guilty enough already. I know. It, it's heaped on. Oh, how about in-laws? Yes. <laughs> you know, I mean, bless their hearts. They're trying to help. But, but the problem is, it's not what the parent's doing. It's not what the child's doing. There's a physiological genetic base. I'll tell you one of the best experiences I had is there was a little 11-year-old boy who was struggling with aneurysis, and they were talking about it over Thanksgiving dinner. And the uncle, his favorite uncle, said, You're 11? Hey, I didn't work through that till I was 14. That was the best thing <laughs> that ever happened for that 11-year-old boy. The uncle lied. He was seven. <laughs> but he said, I, he just put in 14 to help him feel better. Right. It was the best thing that ever happened for that little 11-year-old boy. To know that his favorite uncle also struggled with it. And it is. It's, it's family-based. It's genetic.